What's up everybody? We've been doing our Vanos replacement and along the way we discovered that our Vanos connector plug, specifically the one that plugs into the solenoid, was damaged. We're going to show you how to replace that today. Alright, for your reference, the plug we're replacing comes down through here, wraps around and plugs into the bottom of the solenoid pack. It's a six prong plug, so most likely you'll just need to replace the case. No normally the, the plug itself is okay, but the case gets damaged. So we're gonna show you how to do that. $3 investment. Making this a little easier for you to see, here's our Vanos as it was installed into the car. Here's our solenoid pack, and here's where that connector plugs in. It's a six prong connector, and in the description, we're gonna give you a part number and a place to get it. All right, replacing our Vanos here, we found that our six prong plug that connects into the solenoid of the Vanos was bad, specifically this housing. Yep, housing is cracked and this is gonna give us an unreliable Vanos unit. So we're gonna go ahead and change out that housing because the wires and all that is all, all just fine. So we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, go into the back of your plug where the wires connect in and you're gonna look for a tab right on the side there. There's two of them, ours only has ones because they're broken. But you're gonna pull that tab back. Okay, and then this just pushes right on through. Now the housing is off and we have the wire connector showing. As you can see, we've already wired, uh, we've already numbered our wires here. Here's one, and two, three, all the way through number six. And you'll find the numbers for the wires are right there on the very face that plugs into the Vanos. So these wires, wire numbers relate to the wire number on the face. And we're gonna pull those out right now. And to do that, this little pink plastic bracket here, you pull this front edge down and then you just slide out. There it is. And it just slides out like that. Okay, we've numbered our wires and we removed the protective clip. And now we're gonna start pushing these wires out. And they push out just like that. There it is, there's one. You just push down and they slide right out. There's two. And here's three. There's three. Come to the other side and take the other side of our dental pick, pull that little tab down, slide this guy all the way. There he goes. And we'll repeat on the other side. See the little arrow? Little arrow right there. Push down the arrow and then just kind of push it down like that and they'll pop right out. Okay, we have our new housing and our new connector plug right here. This connector plug has a slot and the housing has a key. And those two have to mate up when you put them together. And you see how they'll, they'll mate right up and click together when you put them together. Okay, we're gonna pull off the old housing and you need to take note of how it comes off, which direction, because there's a certain way it has to go on. So we'll pull all the wires out of it, set the old one aside, in with the new. And there we have it. Okay. Now again, we gotta pull these little tabs off. There's one right here. There's one. And here's two. There it is. Okay, and now we are ready to install the old wires into the new housing. All right, we're gonna start plugging in wires now. We're gonna find number one on the plug, and he's got it upside down, but there's number one. Okay, and then this is our number one wire as we marked, so we're gonna turn that plug around. One. Number one. And we're gonna plug it into that hole. Okay, see the little arrow on the metal connector? That has to go up. They're one direction. Slides in, goes click, and don't pull out. That's number one. 
Here's our wire mark number two. Arrow up, double check, number two. Slides in, goes click. We're gonna have to pull this up just a little bit. I'm glad this is up showing. We're gonna have to pop this little tab up just a little bit because it's bent down and it doesn't go click. If it doesn't go click, it could pull out on you when you're installing. There's number two, number two wire, arrow up, in it goes. And there it is, it clicked. And let's just check them all as we stick them in. We'll just make sure all the little tabs are up. So take your dental tool and go up underneath the little arrow, the little piece of metal right there. Just go up underneath it, not too much because you want to break it off and just pry it back up because maybe it got depressed too much when we disassembled. And there's number three. This is number three wire, double check, number three. Arrow up, hope you can see that. In we go. Slides in and clicks and it doesn't, doesn't pull out. If it pulls out, we got a problem. All right, go ahead and repeat for the rest of the wires and then we'll continue. Okay, double check your wire numbers. Make sure they're on the right spot because we're gonna close it up right now. This is a little keeper. We're gonna slide it on here. And there it is, it clicked. I'm gonna turn this over. Got one more to go for the opposite side. Double check your wires. Okay, and this little, this little point right here is what locks it in place up here in the hole. And there it is. That part is all finished up. Okay, we have the key lined up with the slot, and we're gonna place these together. This is gonna finish up the whole process right here. And there it is, it just clicked in place. We're set. All right, while we're at it, we already took the liberty of replacing this old trash. That was our old stuff all rotten ugly uh you can pick this up from summit it's a really nice little mesh wrap and it looks beautiful the wire wrap is high high heat and this is the part number from summit and we use it for all of our electrical all right this is our final product all wrapped up in that nice sleeve and ready to plug in and remember this goes onto the solenoid of the vanos